can zoom in video. Yeah, it looks like he's going back into his original There's hiding There's two place. in there. Okay, so this is the one we saw crawling on the seafloor earlier. Yeah, the other one. See the other one in, oh. inside? Yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. I don't know. It looks like there's two. Oh. And a squid. Mollusk heaven. Let's get the lasers off. We do appear to be the same species. And yeah, thanks to Mike Vecchione, we have wow. a genus ID on him. So thanks, Mike. Kind of battling it out for the spot there. <laughs> Just pull the club in to hit the other guy over the head with it. <laughs> Be honest, if you could have your uh, creature stop tearing apart the shipwreck, that'd be great. <laughs> Copy that, Shoreside. Uh, we'll uh, do our best to communicate that to them. There he goes again. There goes another piece. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> this, is, this is like he's, a B movie. Yeah, he's breaking apart the, the wreck. This is actually very interesting for archaeologists because wow. one of the things we're uh, interested in is uh, oh, yeah. something we term as site formation yeah. process. Beautiful. What are the biological activities ongoing on the shipwreck? What are the physical activities yeah, taking place that cause Chasing. them to deform in the way they do? And you know, how can we gauge you and measure up. that over time? And so, actually, witnessing things like this is very helpful for us to be able to document. Um, Okay, follow me, Andy. Uh, the sort of impacts to. that Copy. go on unseen on the floor, you know, day to day. I'm moving toward Of him course, too. you might not have guessed Octopus's uh, tearing apart the shipwreck uh, quite like that inadvertently, but certainly uh, they need to have a video of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's my max tilt. Yeah, and I mean, there's a we, we image quite a few boring organisms there, and uh, you know, there's some speculations about a lot of those squat lobsters that might be that was actually neat, huh? uh, <laughs> consuming that was wood. Really <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I'd post that question earlier. If there's anything uh, based in. on how much how much life you see on the wreck and the condition of the wreck, whether that gives you any kind of indications about its age. What is he doing? Trying to disguise himself, throw up a smoke screen. No, that's a cool. silk screen. Look at that. This guy is very active, isn't he? <laughs> oh my goodness. Turn he's very, very, very smart. He, he's trying to hide. Yeah. He destroyed a ship and now he's getting out of here. That is very interesting. I've never seen that before. I sometimes feel like that too. behavior in response to the ROVs present? I don't know. I haven't seen something like this. He's just very upset that uh, he couldn't <laughs> take that hiding spot from the other octopus. What is he doing? So Dan, you said you haven't seen this kind of behavior from an octopus before? Yeah, that's right. I, I haven't seen it. Are octopus known to burrow, or is he just trying to create a smoke screen to disguise himself?
All right, so I point out that we have a little informal thing we like to call Octopus Friday in the uh, Office of Ocean Exploration Research. And uh, so they've been, through social media, being posting uh, images of octopuses we've, octopus we've seen uh, on Fridays. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to see uh, what we think are three different individuals today. They all look to be the same um, species, or at least genus, uh, but... Uh, that is our, we believe, to be our third octopus of the day. So very exciting Octopus Friday for us here on the Okanos Explorer.